To San Francisco came 1,400 representatives from 46 nations. In 1945, Lions leaders were among representatives who met to help establish the non-governmental organization section of the United Nations. And they threw their full support behind the new organization, calling upon clubs to support it as well. Lions Clubs International underscored its commitment to a certain and lasting peace for the world in 1946, when International President Pierce delivered greetings to the Paris Peace Conference, which officially marked the end of World War II. When they left, I said there goes our Lions International statesman working for world peace. The first Secretary General of the United Nations, Trigva Lee, thanked Lyons for their good wishes for the successful outcome for the whole work of the United Nations. In 1947, the United Nations granted Lyons consultative status with the UN Economic and Social Council. In 1988, Lyons created the International Peace Poster Contest Mustafa Tawukji, who grew up in war-torn Beirut, Lebanon, was the first contest winner. Since 1988, millions of children worldwide have participated. The international grand prize winner is honored at Lions Day with the United Nations. That's really helped me to develop a more worldly view. Since 2011, students who are blind and visually impaired have also had a chance to express their thoughts on peace through the Lions International Essay Contest. For me, peace feels like freedom from ignorance or conflict such as war. Lions and the United Nations continue to work together to improve lives and further peace around the world. Lions support the UN Millennium Development Goals and the Sustainable Development Goals to combat poverty hunger, disease, environmental crises, and more. As citizens of the world, lions respond to one need, one community, one life at a time. In the years, decades, and centuries ahead, lions will continue to unite in friendship and serve as community and world leaders to sow seeds of peace at home and around the world. Peace. Peace. Shanti. 